the person on the planet who has most correctly predicted the stock price of Tesla over the last few years claims the price will triple by 2025. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the Electric Viking. Fantastic to see you today. Thank you for tuning into the channel. Hope you've had an unreal week. There's so much incredible EV news that's already happened within the last 24 hours. This week, it's only Monday night here in Melbourne, Australia. And wow, I'm excited. There's some fantastic news going on. But before I get to some of that news, which you'll see in more videos coming out today, I want to talk about Tesla stock. Tesla's bull, Kathy Wood of ARK Invest, has said she is still confident in her prediction of a $3,000 US dollar price target by 2025. Now, the stock price, price right now at reporting this video is at about 1,000 US dollars. So Kathy Wood is saying that the price will triple within about four years. And I think she's right. I agree with her. Now, one of my favorite websites or fan-based websites, which I think is pretty impressive for a fan-based website is Tesla Rati. And Tesla Rati said that in spite of Tesla's recent kind of stock price dip, after the initial highs, the stock price went up to, what was it, about 1,250 US dollars. It's gone back down now to about 1,000 US dollars. She still believes the price will triple by 2025 to 3,000 US dollars. Of course, the momentum players turned tail as soon as the stock reacted to that news and they followed it down. For us, we have been taking profits on the way up and receiving a lot of criticism for it. And for us, this is nothing but a blip. I agree with Kathy. This is nothing but a blip. It's difficult in times like these when the stock price increases significantly. And then you feel like, well, if I buy again, am I now buying at a price that's too high? That's the normal human emotion. That's the way I currently feel right now. Do you feel that way? If you're going to buy stock today and you had a thousand or say 10,000 US dollars to invest, what would you buy? Let me know in the comments section below. I still think Tesla stock is cheap. I know that sounds crazy, but based on my predictions on other channels' predictions, well, solving the money problems, predictions on his channel for the number of cars that Tesla will be selling in 2030, Tesla are aiming, I believe, to sell 20 million vehicles in 2030, and the other things that Tesla are planning to do in robotics, in battery production, in energy storage, with supercharger stations. There are so many different things. I could go on and on and on about all the things that they are aiming to achieve by 2030. Full self-driving, will that happen by 2030? I think, yes, absolutely. I'm 100% convinced that it will happen by 2030. All of those things together, if you combine all those, if Tesla only achieve half of their stated goals by 2030, then the price will definitely be worth, in my view, at least four times what it is worth today. So am I willing to wait nine years to, four, to get a four times return on my money? Absolutely. Are you willing to wait nine years for your money to go up by a factor of four? I think that's a pretty good return. Now, if we consider the fact that Tesla has achieved all of its goals that it set out to achieve back when it wrote its mission statement all the way back in 2008, basically they've done exactly what they said they would, which is Purely, honestly, it's truly miraculous that they've been able to do that. Then if they only achieve half of their goals between now and 2030, then that's a win. But if they achieve all of their goals between now and 2030, I can see the stock price being worth potentially 10x what it's worth today. I know that sounds insane, but that's based on all the numbers I've put together. And I've got an Excel spreadsheet where I've put all the numbers together based on everything Tesla plan on doing by 2030. I will share that with you very soon. Now, top 10 holdings of Kathy Wood and ARK Invest Innovation ETF Fund as of today. Number one is Tesla. Number two is Teladoc. Now, Teladoc's an interesting one. TDoc, they provide telehealth services. Number three, Coinbase. Number four is Unity. Number five is Roku. Number six is Zoom. Number seven, Spotify. Number eight, Shopify. Number nine, UiPath. And number 10 is Square. 
Now, last week, Tesla stock was down from its highs by about 15%, partly due to Elon Musk offloading some of his shares. The share price is probably going to drop, in my view, even more this week as Elon continues to sell more of his Tesla stock. Now, as of the time of this video, on the 15th of November, Elon was about 50% of the way through his stock sale, and the stock price has gone down to about $995. US dollars. Now, Musk said that his low basis share sale rate is designed to be closer to maximum taxation on Twitter. Wood believes that Musk's decision to sell some of his shares is fair enough. She said, he has been on the record as saying, I was the first in and I'm going to be the last out. And yet he has an enormous tax bill for stock options. I'm sure he didn't want to use any more of his stock as collateral for loans. So I think that's sensible. I don't want him to be under pressure as a shareholder. I want him to feel he's secure and to be in good shape so he can do his job, Wood said about Musk. Now, honestly, I'm not 100% sure that Musk is really selling his stocks to pay taxes on that stock sale, so it makes it look like he's paying taxes. Maybe he is, maybe he's not. I don't know. I don't really care, to tell you the truth. I think Musk has still an enormous amount of Tesla stock. He's got an enormous amount of options that he has available in August of 2022, which I'm sure he will take up. And frankly, it doesn't really make any difference to me. I think this is a pretty minimal amount. It's only 10%. Now, Tesla Rady reported that Kathy also said, our estimate for Tesla's success has gone up. The main reason for that is their market share. Instead of going down from the year end of 2017 to today, it's actually gone up fairly dramatically, Wood explained. At the time, Tesla was trading around at about $733 US per share. It would have to go up more than 300% to reach Wood's price target. So she sounds like a lunatic, right? She's saying it's going to go up an enormous amount. Well, she sounded crazy when she said a few years ago where it would be today. And she was about right. Now, with a share price of $3,000 US per share, Tesla's valuation would be around about $3 trillion US dollars. Sounds crazy, right? That's a feat that might have seemed far-fetched to some at the time when she first predicted it. Does it sound crazy today? You know, I don't think it does. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Do you think it's crazy? Now, Tesla reached a valuation of $1 trillion in October after Hertz ordered 100,000 Tesla Model 3 vehicles for its rental fleet. And since it made that order, Hertz has engaged in an incredible marketing campaign to convince people of how good the Tesla Model 3 vehicle is and how good electric cars are. I love it. Thank you, Hertz. Thank you for helping us to sell more electric cars. And honestly, I mean, do they even need any help right now? Sales of Tesla's vehicles are just going insane. I just had a look on Tesla.com and I clicked on the button to say to order a Tesla Model Y in America. And I think it said I'd have to wait about six months. That's insane. Now, most of the world's legacy auto manufacturers claim they won't be anywhere near 100% all EV in their fleets by 2030. So Tesla will be more than happy to eat their lunch, which is exactly what they're doing right now. But remember, the company's valuation will be due to far more than their cars, just like BYD. It will be from energy, robotics, full self-driving, batteries, and many other things that they're working on right now. Thank you for watching the channel. Thank you for tuning in and for commenting and letting me know what you think about what Kathy Wood is saying about Tesla stock price. Have an awesome day. Look forward to seeing you again on the next video. Bye-bye.